Before we get started, I want to let you guys know the episode that you're about to listen to actually wasn't supposed to be released in the first place. Upon playing the episode back, I realized there was a lot of audio issues and a lot of the audio was corrupted, so I was going to scrap the whole entire episode in the first place. This episode was recorded about a month ago, but I decided I should clean it up a bit and salvage most of it, that way I can play it for you guys. My brother was on this episode, Tiana was on this episode, so I still think it's a banger. I really hope you guys enjoy it, and again, try cleaning up as much as I can, but without further ado, I'll play it. Exposed. Uh, again, I'm Nathan. With me, I have. Oh, it's Yana. <laughs> uh, Nicholas. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, of course. Um, it's been a while since the last episode. A uh, little announcement. I'm jumping kind of like uh, back in time, and I'm actually gonna start recording episodes either weekly or biweekly, doing it alone. So they're gonna be kind of. Sorry, I'm blocking you, Tiana. But uh, in this camera, I'm blocking you. But. Um, essentially when I started this podcast, I was just doing solo episodes, just me recording in a closet alone. Um, but I'm going to be doing that more often, but of course when I can, I'm going to be bringing people on here, as many people as I can. Um, doesn't, doesn't really matter who, as long as somebody's on the, the podcast. But yeah, it's been a while. So, um, getting here for me, good old Brampton, Ontario. Uh, was interesting. I came up here for work originally, um, and then realized I just might as well stay here on the weekend. Uh, <laughs> Surprise, if you're all wondering guys. about Nick's getup right now, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this this wasn't this was semi planned. Okay, I didn't expect it to be. I expected <laughs> the trip to be this hard. Okay, uh, but as I kept putting on things, it got better and better. So I mean, it wasn't even all me. It was like Tiana and Nathan. So they were gassing me up. So the more they gas me up, the more I guess I'm going. You know, I, I'm not this cool, trust me. I'm not this cool. Yeah, because I mean, he's wearing, he's wearing shorts. Mm-hmm. What do you call this outfit? I call this outfit uh, the Pink Panther. <laughs> the uh, Pink uh, Panther? No. no. Yeah. I'm the skinny, you know, pinky on the brain. I'm the skinny one. It's funny because it's so it's so L.A. summer vibes. And it's like we live yeah, in the it's, 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 it's like snowing minus five outside. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I know I, I can't I can't I, I do pull this off I guess apparently but I don't drip this hard all the time so if you guys like dig it like tell like, let us know <laughs> oh, I'm I'm wondering uh, hey man, I don't know how you're not cold I ain't cold I'm, I'm actually, freezing uh, Tiana's always also no I'm, the I'm not cold I have a heating pad behind my back because my back is is killing me I don't know why I, I pulled the muscle I don't know why I did yeah so well I mean. It's funny because I could still hear the traffic outside, even though the door is like, it's it's, it's pretty um, much closed. No, yeah, when I, when I when I do my auditions, I have, like sometimes I literally have to keep the door shut, no matter how much it's hot in here. Cause, like, yeah, because we have we have all these uh, we have all these lights, so yeah. but they're LEDs. You'd think it's so I don't know. two in the afternoon in here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's two. It's uh, you say two in the afternoon. You say afternoon. Yeah, no, because it's so bright in here. Oh, oh, you oh it looks, looks like, like it's yeah. two afternoon. You would think it's two in the I afternoon in here. I'm like, I'm like, no, no, you would think. I'm like, it's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> Without these lights, it's nice and cozy. Um, no, but, uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting week. I don't know about y'all, but, yep, it was crazy. Because the thing is, the only reason that I, I'm here is because of work. And, like, so I work for... Um, like a pretty large like um, delivery service here in Canada, Canada. Um, but uh, I got called in to help another, uh, cause I'm a, I'm a broker, so I got called in to help another um, uh, delivery service company. Did not go great. It was horrible. Spent uh at least four more or five more hours um, kind of just driving around Brampton. Did not, did not like it. It's very hectic. Uh, I brought my brother along with me to kind of help me out, but it uh, still kind of failed, kind of flopped in the end. But anyway, well, that's why I'm here. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much because it's. I want to, all of us to get the the spotlight. Yeah. But the thing is, yeah, uh, life for me 
for anyone wants to know, um, kind of updates. Life is going good. I moved again closer to Kingston, Ontario, um, and uh, kind of just kind of just chilling, you know. Yeah. Uh, mostly being alone, because um, now that uh, now I live in kind of Simon's old house where he used to live, it is very chill. Uh, small town, kind of giving me some get out vibes sometimes, but. Oh, get know. out. <laughs> I heard, at first I heard ghetto, and then I was uh, like. That's a ghetto. <laughs> Wait, what? Ghetto. No, it's far from ghetto. No, but no, everyone's nice. Everyone's really friendly. Um, you know, I have Simon's cat to keep me company most most of the time, so it's uh, it's not bad. Doesn't um, he have a dog? Hmm? Doesn't he have a dog? Yeah, his dog Chloe, but uh, she's with his mom majority of the time, and then. So uh, Simon's mom stops at the house like during the week, um, with Chloe. Uh, no, but the cat, the cat's there. The cat's there all the time. Um, but uh, yeah, the cat can kind of just wander. Yeah, yeah, cool cat, cool cat, man. Yeah, Mugway seems cool. I met Mugway once or twice. Is Mugway once. a girl or a boy? Girl. Girl. Oh. Yeah. Is Mugway from Harry Potter? Uh, <laughs> no, from uh, Gremlins. Gremlins. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it the one with the mohawk? I think so. Is that Mugwa? I, I can't remember. There, there's a couple crazy gremlins. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <sighs> like we are talking about the little one you can't feed after midnight, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's. I don't think, and the thing is, like, I'm not a cat person, and I'm allergic. I'm like definitely allergic to cats. Is that why you're not a cat person? Yeah. It's not that I was like, oh, If you guys I... weren't allergic to cats, would you like cats? Probably. <laughs> I like cats. I like, I like, I like cats. Assholes, I like Mugwai. But... Like, I mean, Mugwai's weird. She's like a dog, really, but... Because she has long, like, really long hair, and that's probably another reason. I, I, I googled this. I'm like, why are long-haired cats considered to be, like... What's the word when, it's when they don't make you sneeze? Hyperallergenic. Yeah, yeah, hypoallergenic. <laughs> like, why is this? How come long-haired cats... Turns out, it's cause it's just simply because with long-haired cats, their their fur is so long that it encap encapsulates their uh, dander more, so it doesn't fly around as much. And it sticks to their actual body, their skin. That's wild. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh yeah. yeah. It took us a little while to uh, set up this. Um, you know, one because like. Lights and they ought to be waiting for, like, not like my kid, like our kid wouldn't go to sleep for like a, for whatever reason. She's just restless tonight. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, yeah, we were watching, you know, Club Shay Shay. Matt Williams unleashed everything. Like he really let it out. I yeah, didn't expect it, it to two be hours. Yeah, like, well, yeah, I was like, yeah. I honestly don't know what happened. He was letting every, was like he, in and out every he time. He was tossing everybody under the bus. Yeah, that blood brain center. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to put my opinion on it. Did you guys finish it? Did yeah, it finish? Yeah, oh, you yeah. did? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to put my opinion on it. But all I know is entertaining to watch. And I'm like... Talk about Illuminati and stuff? Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> Okay, this is cool. Like I, I like this is like that's just, that's a juice, man. That's just a, that's like I love watching that stuff. Yeah, especially oh, I mean, yo, yo, cat just kept talking, man. I right from the jump. Every time I came out, I don't think I ever seen other guy talk. I love Cat Williams, though. You know, he's just funny. He's just classic funny. He did like yeah, like he when I like picture childhood, like watching like movies and stuff, like comedy movies. Like I, it's like Cat Williams. Like he's always in one one of them. Yeah, you know, you know, he's just yeah. there. He's one of those. He's yeah, one of those. Like in the earlier days, when we were young. Yeah. I mean, he's probably had days earlier, but when we were young, he's one of those um, actors where it's just like you would say, "Oh, it's that guy." Yeah. As funny as iconic as it was, like, yeah. "Oh yeah, it's that guy." It's not like he was Tom Cruise or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean? you know and like, but you knew, but you knew if he was there, yeah, exactly, it's gonna be a freaking. You know, it's gonna be a good yeah. movie if he's there. And he has a distinctive voice. Like, you know it was him. He's yeah. doing voiceover work. Like, yeah. he, he yeah. could be anything small. Like, even the, even the small stuff. Like, uh... <laughs> Pim, was it Pim named Slickback or whatever? I think it was. Some, like, can't remember what his name was from, uh... Uh, the, the Boondocks or whatever. Remember that? Oh, yeah. The Boondocks, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he played the pimp in that. And he, they even made him look like Cat Williams in the cartoon. 
Oh it, damn. Yeah, yeah. I swear guys, I think his name is Pimp from Pimp Pimp named Slick Slickback. And it's not just Pimp he's named Slickback. He goes by Pimp a Pimp named Slickback. So when people call him like Yeah, yeah I think it's like, yeah, you're a pimp. Like, no, you're gonna call me a pimp named Slickback or something, or something like that. It was, it was just hilarious. That is actually pretty funny. But anyway, I ain't got, we ain't gonna talk about that because the, the world knows about that already. Though. Yeah, you know about it. Yo, what, what was the most out of pocket thing that's happened so far in the last two weeks? Out of pocket? Out of pocket. Like, um, to you or like, just something that you, something that has caught you off guard. Man, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Wow. Did, wait, today's Saturday? It's now Sunday. It's now Sunday. Sorry, Thursday. Thursday. I had an audition callback. I thought I did okay. I don't. I don't think I did okay. So I didn't. I didn't get. I don't think I got booked for for the commercial. But on the way there it wasn't bad. On the way back was just a disaster. Like, train was delayed. It's either I got on the wrong train somehow. I never got on the wrong train. I got on the wrong train. Went the opposite way back to Union Station. And it's like, why is this happening? To me? And then I start to wait, and it's packed. Then I forgot to, you know, I forgot to tap. Okay, I forgot to tap, and then I'm sitting at the top. Oh, like tap, tap your presto card. Yeah, because yeah. on the go train you have to tap before you get on the train. It's not on the train, but it's like at the station. And then you get off at the next station, then you tap off. Gotcha. I forgot to tap on, and I'm like, oh, man, the TDC police. Dang, is see. And there was those TDC police, and I see him like, there's people like with their legs on the next seat. He's like legs off the seat. Legs off the seat. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get two hundred dollar fine. Like I'm like, damn, two hundred dollars. And I was like, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep watching my show. I'm just keep watching my show because I had downloaded some shows on my phone. I'm like, yo, it's over. Wait, Luckily, well, he didn't come back. How do you, how do they know? How do they know if you don't tap? They have this thing. They, they have this. They have a gun, like a, like a tap card to thing. see if you tapped or not. Oh, the, like the previous tap. Yeah, yeah. When was the last tap you did? Oh, and it yeah. shows a timestamp. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, so you just like tap and then you oh. go on. When was the time? last tap you did? I'm sorry, the last tap I did was some ass, okay? <laughs> what, what were we on? I think we were on the bus. We were on something. And uh, I, I did it before and I was like, oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> but not. Because that's annoying. They look, they kind of look, um, they look like, wear like a bright yellow jacket, but like they kind of look like police, almost, almost. Not almost. Like, so it's like, it's like police, but on Candy Valley. Yeah, yeah. 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 They can yeah. be like, yeah. I, I have know. a Presto card, it's still, it's in my wallet. Obviously, I don't use it because I'm not like Toronto. So I'm, I'm taking the, I'm taking it's good the to have Can you guys hear that? Hmm? Those, my, sorry, yeah. I'm cracking my knuckles. Oh, no, it's, no? it's not. It's loud when I crack them, I can hear them. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are sensitive microphones. Yeah. Let's see if I can. I'm trying to think of something that's out of pocket that happened to me. But Did you hear that one? I heard that one. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm a chiropractor. Pretty, uh, oh, you know what? While I was moving in, I think I told you guys this already, but while I was moving in the house, um, Noah, Noah's with me. We're moving some of my stuff in. And since, you know, I had the van, like the cargo van, it was easy for me to move stuff in. Uh, and it was since right now, time of recording, it's winter. It gets dark around like five. So, Noah and I are moving my stuff in, you know what I mean? And it's dark, and then uh, I'm wearing a black hoodie. It's my work hoodie. Um, which, by the way, why are work stuff, work wear, like work hoodies that they make give you, like merch, why are they always fitting? They fit so well. They fit so, so well somehow all the I'm, time. They, they're the only things that I put I hate on my work shirts. That are just true to size. But, they're not comfortable. What? My work shirts. They're not. No. No, you're not. No, you're missing. And I have so many different I, ones. Best feeling works. sweater. I wish I had it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, I was wearing a black hoodie, uh, and a black hat, like the trucker, the trucker hat, and uh, I'm moving stuff in and out because what happened was, um, we originally left after moving everything in, but then Noah, uh, he forgot his, his heavy winter jacket. So, oh, I've got to go back. So then I drove back, and that's when I was going in the house. I look sus. I look sketchy. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, and, I'm walking and, I, and I go in, grab his jacket, and as I'm coming out, and a neighbor meets me at the door. I'm like, who are you? I'm like, Nathan. It's like, oh, oh, you're the new neighbor. Oh, okay. Oh, nice to meet you, man. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you probably thought I was robbing the place. Well, no. I mean, no, no, no. And like, I mean, 
I okay. I live in a predominantly small populated white village, which is fine. Okay. I mean, I think there's a. I mean, there's an Indian guy that works at the uh, store, the convenience store, or whatever. But, you know, I wasn't offended if you thought I was robbing the place because I, as I'm driving back to you know the other place to get more stuff, I'm thinking to myself, damn, I'm wearing a black hoodie and a black cap and a white ass van <laughs> uh, going in and out of the house. I would think I'm robbing the house. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, true. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I just pull up there all casual. I was like, damn, like. I was robbing the place, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and another cool note, not that anybody really cares, but, um, so for a while now, for those of you who really know me, I'm into photography and all this stuff, but I really like the look of vintage cameras, and obviously we all know that film is coming back into play, but I wanted to, over time, go on Facebook Marketplace, because that place is addictive lately for me. And I want to slowly accumulate these vintage cameras of all makes and models. And they range from 10 bucks to 40 bucks. I'm like, that'll be cool, but it's going to take a lot of money slowly accumulating that. doesn't matter how long it is. And as I was thinking about that, I got a text message from Simon's mom. And she says she has a friend. And who she has a friend that had all this, this, these camera collections. Huge camera collection. And, you know, unfortunately... Um, there was a lot of people in her family that passed away, and there was another one that was sick and stuff like that. And, um, but anyway, the, they needed to rehome this camera collection. I'm like, what are the odds of that? I was literally thinking, how am I going to fill this wall unit that Simon has built? How am I going to fill this up in, like, you know, just a week of just vintage cameras? And sure enough, now there's a hundred cameras that's going to be in my possession. For free. So then we're gonna put That's all wild, of them. It's wild, man. I mean, I'm sure you'll find a spot. Oh, I'll find a spot. I'm gonna put them everywhere. The wall unit. I'm gonna fill the fireplace shelf, and I'm gonna fill. I'm gonna put a bunch of cameras in my room. I might put a few shelves up on the wall. Put a few cameras on there. Maybe make some okay. lighting systems on there. But yeah, man. I'll figure. And then I'll make some models. Make you the totally like get the shelves to like have yeah. a like limited mm -hmm. like some sort of like, mm -hmm. like, you know, like has a like a kind of like it's like showing off the cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She says most of them work, some of them don't, but it's not the point. Like, you know, I mean, I don't care if they don't work. Yeah, it's just the aesthetic. You know? Hell, I might even use one of them. I could spy some film. It's expensive, but I might just buy some film and just, you know, do it that way. Can't believe it's snowing finally. Yeah. It's so funny, as if we were just talking about that earlier. That's wild. And then it started snowing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I can't believe I slept in until 3 which, by the way, everyone, that is, that's not me. Yeah, I was yeah. surprised. I'm up and at him at like that was 5, weird. 30, 6. I think it's just... I think you overslept. Yeah. I don't, the thing is, I don't, I don't want to say I was sleeping. Because I was, I was definitely up around 6. I just kept, like, I was, everyone that walked by, I was definitely aware that they were there. Uh -huh. um, but I, I would just kind of drift off and, like, close my eyes for a bit and then wake up. It's, just, it's like I didn't want to wake up. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, this is, I'm too comfortable right here. Because what else am I going to do? Yeah, yeah. You know, if, I'm at, if I'm at home, I'll find something to do. I'm outside all the time. I'll find something to do. Maybe I'll go on a walk or something. But, uh. like, here I'm just like, ah, kind of stuck here. Sorry, so my I'm, nose is plugged. Yeah, it's I mean, not, your nose is always plugged. It's always plugged. I have allergies. septum ass. I'm not even sick. What? <laughs> Did you say if I could accept some ass? <laughs> I'm so <laughs> you. <laughs> No, no, no. I said maybe should accept some deviated, ass. Like, what? With your deviated septum ass. Oh. <laughs> and I'm done. It's me and being on board, man. Like, I'm just waiting to go back to work. Like, they laid me off for a bit because it's just normal in the catering business. They're not filming anything. You know, the film industry, you're not filming anything. They don't need any caterers. So, you know, you're off during Christmas holidays to, like, you know, mid January or February. So, um, yeah, because you guys are listening to this. Bring me back. <laughs> you glad you got that off your chest? <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your volume at on your mic? It's, uh, it's, it's not, not all the way up, up is it? No, no, no. Okay. It's mid. As long as it's, it's down mid, it's a little mid. bit. Like it, be, it could be up three quarters of the way. 
Oh. Until there's like a little, just a little, a little space at the end, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at that. I, uh, I just don't want this peaking. That the Lord. Shit. Was it was it too low then? Was it too low? Oh, was it too low too. then before? No, you're fine. Oh, okay. You're fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just watching the wave legs there. But um, damn, what was I gonna say? Is it me? Is it yeah, I? No, because you need a. You I'm like start. whispering. Hmm? I'm like whispering because this is loud to oh, me. Oh, that's loud. Well, to me it is. Oh. Okay, well, I guess... Just, like, when mean. I tab them out, I'm like, I can hear you guys, but, like, not screaming, you know? Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, I am, um... No, because you need to start making that money. I mean, I'm I'm blessed to be in a position where I'm making money. It's been slow lately, but hopefully it should be able to pick up again. Um, I do still want to go to school and stuff and get, get some diplomas. But that's kind of a future thing until I accumulate the, the money to actually do it. But, uh, yeah, I feel like, I feel like Tiana makes quite a bit of money in his tips. It depends. Mm. But, yeah, you can make tips. Yeah, you can make, you can make some coin. I'm a server. <laughs> no, no, honestly, well, the thing is, though, a lot of people are like, I think, well, I think of ten years ago, people thought when they heard of, like, a waitress or a server, they're like, oh, that's, that's a low-end job, but... Uh, a lot of waitresses make way more money, like it, like than most people do. You I think I mean? it just depends on how much minimum it, it wage. Yeah, it depends also where you are and how much tips you make and all that stuff. But like, yeah, like I've, I mean, I've definitely matters. I've heard people that made stupid, stupid money, and just tips. And I'm just like, damn, what am I doing right now? Yeah, like the whole tip thing. Like, well, for me, I work in a kitchen, but I don't get tipped because well, it's not a restaurant. Like it's. You make food for actors and people on the set. But someone did tell me, like, when I was, like, when the pandemic started, I was looking for a job. Someone was like, oh, Nick. I thought they were joking at first, which isn't a big deal. Like, um, oh, you should work uh, at a gay bar, you know? And they, they, I mean, they, they were gay, too. Like, the person was telling me, like, I'm like, oh, well, I don't, you know, I'm straight. Like, oh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I was like, yeah. It's like, no, but there's three people who sometimes who work at gay bars just for the tips. Because, like, if you're good looking, oh. they're going to tip you big money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, she was telling me, like, how much tips he, like, the guy would make sometimes. It's wild. Like, Jeez, I'm like, I don't know how, like, imagine a straight dude working at a gay bar. Like, is that, like, how does, like, is that fraud? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> like, like, people have met tipping you, man. Is that fraud? People are tipping you, right? They they they're trying to like flirt with you and stuff. Like they don't know you're straight. But you're there to be a bartender. That's, that's true. true. That's true. I guess it's just it's not personal. It's business. It is. It is. It is. It's yeah. that exactly you're there that. to be a bartender. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's when that that's when that saying actually comes into play. You mm-hmm. know what I hate? Yeah. When some when you have like like when you work at a job or something or like it's, or just in general, people's like it's not personal. It's business. But yeah, they do something, say some personal ass shit. <laughs> It's not, it's not personal. I it's remember business. my, I remember my job, uh, where I'm working at now. They thought, uh, I think my first, I was wearing my piece first. Of shit. It's not personal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Oh man, I was I was working at it, my first uh, event, and I didn't have. They didn't give me a uniform at that point, so like I was wearing my old work long sleeve, mm. which had big logo on it. But I covered it with a T-shirt over it, same because the same colors. Oh. It was black. The long sleeve was black, but it just had logo, like big logo on the front, and then the T-shirt was black. So I just put the T-shirt behind the logo. And then one day I was like, "Oh man!" Not one day, but I was a day. I was changing. I t- I did like I'm getting hot, so I'm gonna take the long sleeve off, yeah. put the black T-shirt back on. Yeah. And then my I guess my supervisor see me. She's like, "All right, why are you wearing that?" Like I swear to God, I am not a spy. I'm not. Working for them, trying to get information from you guys. I'm like, I swear. It's like, no, no, it's 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 good. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's I'm like, and then start talking. Like, it's not personal. It's business. Like, that's why I left them. Is I don't hate them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, I know even though those two companies are they're competitive companies, like, but it's not like it's not like they're like in their face. Like, ah, we're better than you. I'm just like, oh, it's, they this place offered me two dollars more i'm like i got nothing to lose <laughs> that's the reason why i left i don't hate anybody there it wasn't personal I, don't get me wrong i, I it started to decline because once i switched me to day shift i have to deal with more like 
people taking advantage of me, like the workload and stuff like that. So oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah. that 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 didn't help either. So I I left after that because working the night shift at my old job, um, was was the best. Like it was so chill, so chill. Come in at like three thirty four, do a few things, prep a few things. You get you get along with everybody. Mm. Everyone's chill. That's true. And then after you're all done, go to like some parking lot. And just like smoke, smoke some weed, and I'll walk home. I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty lit. Uh, literally lit. <laughs> literally <laughs> lit. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no. Um, yeah, no. Life's been pretty good. Life's been pretty good. What about uh, what about you, T? How are you doing? My back is killing me. You're living. It hurts so much every time I cough or you sneeze. It hurts. <laughs> yep. Um, a working mom. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that one thing I was gonna tell you guys about. Man, I was at the bank one day. This is this is a lot. Maybe this is a year ago. And we're going over my tax-free savings account or whatever. And um, she was talking about, oh, if anything were to happen to you, um, do you want you obviously do you want your money going to your son? I'm like, no. And she looked at me like. You know, Okay, well, like, I know that, but, like, is it going to, you know, the son's mother and stuff like that? And I said, well, I mean, I, I could see where you're going with that, but, no, it's going to my brother. And it's just, like, she looked at me like, that's kind of selfish. It's like, well, you know, my brother's not going to spend it. Like, he's got to he's got to give it to my son, and he's got to, you know, give the, you know, distribute the funds correctly. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but I think what it, what it is I think it's just because most family members when it comes to money it's just so selfish the second when a fa the second a family member dies it's just like oh take the I want where's my money and the thing is people don't realize they're selfish till it happens yeah. like sometimes it's like and I bet in their mind they're like oh, I'll never do that but then they realize how much money could be like sitting they're like mm -hmm. That's yeah. like it's like it, it it's like no like it's cr it's crazy. That's how much money controls us. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's like crazy. that's why people become stingy. Like when that person dies, like no, should we get money? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I, I understand. Like it, I understand in the in like, the process? under the circumstance. The first thought, like for yeah, people just oh like people yeah. go crazy. Man. I understand under the circumstances. Like, they wonder like, why uh, they get the money or maybe kind of like maybe. Um, Does that matter? I, I, be, I believe if the person leaves it, if the will is whatever, who, who's ever name is on the will, automatically it. But I do you understand, like, oh, people are like, why isn't my name on the will? I did this and this and this. But it's not about that. I don't know. Maybe. But then you get these people, you know, that do actually use people. Like, you see, when you see, like, well, I forgot who it was, but you see, like, a 20 some year old person marrying, like, a 60 to 70 year old, oh, you know, there's yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's sus. I don't mean to judge, but that's I don't, sus. I'm not like like assuming love anything. It, but yeah. What if it's love and sus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, um, because I don't know, sometimes it could be love, but uh, a lot of the cases, like, you, it's not about love, yeah. it's uh, about money, <laughs> yeah. It's about oh, that paper. Yeah, no, no. no, I went on a tangent. No, this woman, this uh, this woman that was talking to me, she had a, you know, she had a blouse, okay, and it was just overly open. Showing a lot of cleavage, you know. You know what I mean? You know, it's okay if it's obviously open. Mm. It's just it was like one button too far. Oh, were you doing deliveries? I was at the bank. Oh, I thought you said. <laughs> what? I thought you I thought you, I thought you telling that story one time where that this girl was flirting at you at the door. No, that that wasn't interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it felt like she had one button too many open, and it's just like, you know, I I was very polite. And I you know I tried like just keeping eye contact. I, I I struggle with eye contact in the first place. Yeah, same. But I, tried <laughs> I, eye I have contact, like I look like, anywhere. Eye tie. I just like you know like kind of like glance at like. It really is open that too far. You know what I mean? It was, it was catching my attention in a way. It's like, is it open too far? Is it, or is it just is it just me? Yeah, no, it was open a bit. You know, it was open enough where I could catch just a glimpse of that. That star. The, the outer ring of the nipple. The outer, the nipple. I don't fucking know. The nipple. Like you know when you see, because sometimes you you like, 
their, where their boobs are, and then like you could see when it started to get areola. Tired. Areola, that's what's called. I called the outer ring. I called the I, I called the Jupiter. <laughs> called I called the it Jupiter of the nipple ring. because you know Jupiter, no, Saturn, Saturn of the your nipple areola. because Saturn has rings, right? And then, then your nipple. Yeah, which planet has a thick rings around it? The, is it Jupiter? Jupiter. So Jupiter. You guys yeah, it's know Jupiter. how you have nipples? Yeah, but like. Whatever color your nipple is. It's called an areola. It's called an areola. So imagine if you had, like, know. actual breasts. It expands. That sounds and like you a, have a little nipple. That sounds like a fancy name for a child. Or a big nipple. Areola! Kind of nipples you you get over here right now! <laughs> it's gonna be peaking so loud. Oh, sorry. Um, I think, I, out of all the microphones, I think yours is the loudest. Yeah, that's why I, I was asking. Catch no, up. he just talks loud. Oh, you just you know how no, loud he's why talking. Before I had it, I had to pull it away. I think you just yeah. no, it's not. It's he no, no, I just turned it there. I just turned it. Oh, okay. I just turned it there. Oh. See, this just where, had, where was it? Where was it before? You said, "Oh, you should like you could like raise it up." I'm like, oh, are you sure? Where was it before? Hear yourself right now. You're loud. I can hear myself. In the middle. No, I can hear my. Okay, let's see where he is. I can hear my. His. See, this is this is my room. This is why I like it because I could keep it right to my. Right here, oh, okay. As long as you don't scream. But if, he is screaming, and he doesn't realize he's screaming oh, because he oh. has headphones. If you if you in, yell and, and you pull, it, if you have to be loud, you just pull it away from your face. Yeah, I know. That's, turn it down. That that's why, why I turned like it down because oh, it wasn't okay. like that before. Because it. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I said that's why I turned it down. Am I the only one who thinks having it too close to your face is weird? <laughs> no, it is. That's I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like it close. Well, like I'm what too I do loud. is I just rest it like this. I'm like, and that way I have oh, like the exact dude. height. Okay, like okay. Exact I realize. I, I don't microphone. think I want people to hear me breathing. Like, I realize <laughs> I'm self conscious. So I, I push it back. There's no in between. Like a nice um, uh, transition. So if I even move it the slightest down, watch. Oh yeah. 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 It. It goes way down. Oh, yeah. Okay. The slightest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like way up. Okay. Yeah, because we can hear it. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just put it where it makes you comfortable. I just don't want it peeking. But, um. I'm smart, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it's called an areola. Whatever. I'm, I, I'm still going to call it a. Jupiter. Oh. Oh. Or Saturn. Well, no. See, okay. So the point is, her. It did not show the areola. It was just showing that it's like a beginning portion, like a good beginning portion. The middle part. Of of the boobies, and I'm like, is are you gonna cut out the whole part where we talk about the mic? Because that then you're gonna start continuing to talk about the nipple, <laughs> <laughs> and people like lose track. No one wants to hear us argue about fucking volumes. No, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, we're back to the the boob story. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah, what yeah, happened? Yeah. I, I'm sure they could pick that up. Um, damn, I feel like I had so much to talk about earlier today, and now I just can't remember any of it. You're talking about how you were just seeing her boob, and you guys were. Oh, yeah, no, Added and I feel like little. she picked up on the fact that I was looking at her bosoms. Bosom. Her bosoms? It's plural now. <laughs> so how old was she? Was she, like, mm. uh, like 30? Mm. Maybe, I mean, maybe older, but it was a lot of makeup, so I don't know. Yeah. But, Not that age matters, but, like, I, I'm, 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 t- I'm talking about, like, mat- in maturity-wise, you should ha- have a sense of idea. Or have you ever have an idea of, like... Like, who, like, was just another person you were talking to? Like, a, the bank clerk, or... You know when you have... The teller. The teller. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. You know when, like, you have, like, a little, like, like a cubicle when you go mm. in there? Yeah. Oh, you went to see someone. Yeah. Oh, a bank okay, okay. A, a bank Wow, bank. that was <laughs> not professional. Okay, I thought it was just a random person, but, like, that, that's, that's what I mean. She didn't know better. Well, maybe she just didn't notice. Maybe she forgot. What was she gaining? Nothing for me, because I was, so, to her, she Maybe probably, her boobs are too big for the button. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe to her, she hey, thought. Hey, I'm not complaining. I don't know if she thought that I was just being a pervert. I, I, we're just concerned. But I was just Whoever like. Whoever you are, we're just concerned I, for you. And I, I, well, no, I was just, I, I'm just like, the whole time, like, is her button open too much? Or is that just. Or is that normal? Am I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. See, normal, that's, that's what I would be thinking. Am I perceiving too. this as provocative? Like, am I thinking not? about this too much? Yeah. What's well, upset? There was a, wasn't there a story you said you wanted to say? Or you said you wanted one, to leave it for you? one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I had so many stories oh, before well this, and I can't, I can't remember any of them. Um, Just a little... Okay. I can't open this. Damn, I like my hairy. Huh? 
My legs are hairy. I mean, they're not that hairy, but I think it's just because, um... Yo, my brother's got a fat ass in those shorts. Oh my goodness, does he? Stand up. My ass <laughs> Stand looks up. pretty good. Stand Show up. it for the camera. Show the camera. And do a pose. Show the camera. You gotta make sure you, you know, do that little bend. I'm sorry, I'm getting up like an old person. They're not gonna back. be able to see your upper half, but that's okay. They only need to see your lower half. Bend over. Can you see the okay the camera seat? Oh, yeah. I mean, this camera can see it's oh, okay. fine. Yeah. Look at that. Look at look at that badonka dog. Yeah. These shorts make them look good. How are we twins? I don't even have it. I don't even have an ass. You don't eat. <laughs> like no, you don't eat. Well, I I don't eat that much either. But I don't. I don't know. You can sit back down. I understand. Probably because you're like it's, running. It's like looking at it. Twelve hours a day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm constantly moving. My 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 ass grew so fast that I have stretch marks on my ass. <laughs> I don't See, know when, when that grows for that happen. I don't know your how. Metabolism is you can even tell. Just look at your legs. Yeah. Yeah. Your metabolism yeah. Is, slow, is slowing down. What? <laughs> what did you well, say? I've been working. I've been working. Oh, oh okay. okay yeah. I've, been, I've been working out for the last, like, I don't know why I thought months. that was way worse than it should have been. <laughs> I, just I, I just took that in. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> your metabolism See if you find that slowing later. down. It sounded like I was dying or something. Wait, which one? The What? Hmm? Find one later. <laughs> Fun what like <laughs> I'm talking about something so different. Oh. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Mm. I was trying to join you said your metabolism metab metab Oh, so I was trying to join the conversation oh. and I speak and like I'm just burping. <laughs> so I'm what like from, what are you Rick from Rick and Woody? <laughs> it just, just came out so I was like, talks. Oh and then I'm like I tried to apologize <laughs> and another came out. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say don't tell him that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. He just needs to know that his metabolism. I don't. Oh, I don't want okay. a belly. I already. I'm gaining a bit, little belly. You're fine. You're terrifying. fine. It's okay. It's not. Well, I mean, uh, I feel like it's not. Well, it's not <laughs> slow. I know, but I mean, it's, yeah, no. it's it's still pretty quick. Where if you worked out, like you can still gain muscle. Oh yeah, quick. definitely. Yeah. Like, Mine's a little more extra effort, but you know. Doesn't it look like I have larger calves from the table? Yeah, <laughs> but you don't. I don't. Where would do that? I love how you just. I, love how I mean, just... it's more than he has. Yeah. You know, Nathan reminds. I don't know who that. Are your legs longer? Or is it just because you're skinnier? You know, more I'm lean. Always, I'm just skinnier. But you know, I've always wondered. I mean, we're twins, but am I more disproportionate to my brother? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I can't make this up. Like. Okay, it's there. <laughs> yeah, it's because I've been working out the last couple of months. No, but it's still so, it's so little. It's and still, it feels so high up. Maybe yeah. it's your socks. Yeah, it's probably my socks. They're also like, yeah, my socks are also I brown. feel like everything you wear is like long. Yeah. <laughs> like everything you own. Like, do you have short socks? Do you know yeah, what those I have, are? I have ankle socks. Okay. I just don't wear them. <laughs> Unless I'm wearing shorts, which is rare. <laughs> <laughs> it's just never. <laughs> On their ring shorts. It has to be really, really hot. Bro, it has to be like 40 <laughs> degrees uh, Celsius, Americans. Uh, it has to be 40 degrees for me to be wearing shorts. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm not a shorts kind of <laughs> guy. Uh, I'm always roasted for my chicken legs. Okay. I guarantee you, if there is one of those wind, like, if, you know those indoor uh, skydiving places? Mm-hmm. If if they didn't give you one of them suits, it wouldn't work on me. Because Why, the wind would, would you just, just go, go right, right through you? Yeah, I'm so aerodynamic. I'll be like laying face down on the ground. They're wondering what's what's going on. Why is he sure? not moving? Do you think it'll just maybe? Meanwhile, I have buddy up there that has a body of a flying squirrel. It's just gone. It's gone. Yeah. What are you looking up? What are you doing, man? Oh no. I was... oh. I love how this guy's just still wearing his sunglasses inside. Well, actually, it's beneficial because right in the, the, yeah, it's so bright. It's pretty bright. It is pretty bright. Yeah, I might. I, let me see if I can just. Uh, I'll add in some footage of what these lights look like. Oh yeah, the cats. The cat is gone crazy in the background. Let me see if I can just capture some of what we see here. There we go. Yeah. So these are the lights. Uh, 
pretty pretty intense. Uh, yeah. Um. So, uh, we got some snow. Does it does it snow he often here? Like more often? Because I know. Not really. I Not swear. Really. Where I live, there's just no snow. But then when I go to Ottawa for work, there's more snow there and it's colder. Which is so weird because wasn't there a lot of snow there last year? I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's more snow. Didn't you guys get snowed in in December? Last year? Um, I don't know how big the snowstorms were last year. I don't even know if we... I can't remember. I can't remember anything of last year. It's just such a blur... Uh, the summer, though, oh, technically last year, uh, I don't know what Oh, you... are you thinking last year of the year that just passed, or, like, 2022? For winter? That, no, I said last year. I'm thinking, thinking of, the, the first... I'm thinking of last year, because now we're in a new year of last year, so I'm thinking of 2023. No, 2022. Oh. Not, not literally oh, last month. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a good few snowfalls. I, I want to say nothing devastating. It's just one of those snowfalls where, like, oh, it snows a lot for, like, you know, two days. I just took in the reason why I was... I could hear myself better. I was only wearing one ear... Or I was only wearing one earbud. Now I'm wearing two. This makes more sense. I can hear myself way better now. So you're playing around the freaking audio levels. Like, why is it so quiet? Yeah. No, because for some reason, this... I can hear it better in this ear. Oh, it's got wax buildup. up. Mm. So that one time I, was, I went deaf or in, in, in one ear... That's so much wax buildup. And the hospital wouldn't even flush it. I was there. And I was like, and the guy's like, you have a lot of wax. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, So great. they don't flush it? So then when you flush it, what do you even put in your ear to flush it? Just water. Ew, no. They just like square water. And like, like it, it, oh, the, the amount of just stuff that comes out of your ear. No, because last time I got water in my ears, like after swimming, and then I washed my hair. So when I went to flip my hair, all the water sludged forward. Yeah. It was like in my ear canal. Gross. And I was like, ugh. That's See, nasty. that's what made it, it, it me feels, deaf. Oh, that's no, what yeah, made me like deaf. Water, my water went in my ear, and then I it's tried like doing your, yeah. one of these to get it out. And nope. But then it moved the earwax, and it plugged my ear. It was so uncomfortable. Yeah. And the guy went, they went flush it out, even though like my buddy's like, yeah. Joseph's like, they'll go flush it out. Yeah, they're, they're going to flush it out. And he's like, no, we don't do that. And I'm like. So who does? That's what I was doing. So I'm like, screw it. So like I bought the, an ear cleaning are... kit, and it comes with a little, the ear cleaning oh, kit. The uh, the ear cleaning kit comes with a metal rod, and on the end of it is a looks like a tiny spoon, like the shape of a spoon. Yeah. And then you just go in. I pulled my ear up, and then you just go in and you scoop. You just feel the points. Don't shove an ear too deep, but you just feel where it is, and you pull it. Man, when I pulled that shit out, that thing was like this long. It was like a perfect cylinder of my <laughs> ear. Oh, like when you haven't been able to hear for two months and you and it just grabs it and it grabs it and now you just hear noise you just hear you just hear everything again i mean my ears are pretty good oh it's amazing and it's not that question if my ears are good but then also you have you have you do you, do you have but somebody... they're good like i've never had like a build-up even uh, if i clean my ears like i've just never felt like that yeah. like i can't hear i mean i am prone to ear infection oh, are you american I... Sorry. I offending a lot bad. of people in the USA right now. I know. Now. My bad. Sorry. Just playing <laughs> American. She was on the house. Like, what? Because you always house. see those sick... Yeah. Because you always see those sitcom shows, and they're always wearing shoes in the house, and on the couch. And on the bed. And on and the sleeping. bed. Yeah. Why Makes are you taking... I don't know. I think it's for, like, the show and aesthetics. Yeah. And no, no, no. But, like... They actually do that. They actually do that. Like, some people actually do That's that. That's true, because I seen a reel the other day. I forgot what the reel was about, but yeah, his dad walked in, he, like, you know, he's just wearing shoes. Like, he walked in the living room, he's just wearing shoes. I'm like, hmm, do they have indoor shoes? Or do they I don't know. shoes indoors? I mean, have some house slippers. <laughs> yeah. Sandals yeah. for the house. House slippers. Oh, wait, can that camera still see Why me? Why can't you wear those? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. The, the, oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, wait. A, uh, a cam? <laughs> no, I don't think A cam can see you. Let me check. Yeah, me he's check. in there. Wait. Where's no, that one over there. Oh. You're like just in frame. Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. Move forward, you're good. <laughs> cool. Um, just use the blue pillow. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I, I want I 
I wonder if I was in frame this whole time. I'm hoping. For that camera. This one. Or just me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. God, I have nothing. <laughs> um, Nick, we were talking about going up to Montreal to visit Omar. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, Plus, you want to you bring up a couch to him, too. Yeah, I mean, if you want it, it's not a big deal. Like, he has a couch, and like, but like, he, like, you know, if I am going up there, like, if he wants a better couch, I am not better. I don't know. Yeah, that's here. Oh, okay. but, do you want me to go let the cat out? Oh, she's out. She wants to be let in. Oh. Can you blow out that candle while you're at it? On the shelf. Blow what? The candle. I'll blow it out. What a fucking lady. You swore. That's your first swear word. I was waiting for it. You know when people Relax. like act, you know, they're two faced. You know, a lot of girls do it. They talk about each other really like very negatively behind each other's backs, but when they see each other, they're like, Oh my god, how are you? I missed you so much. You're looking so good. Okay, should I swear on Nathan's podcast, you should know what's coming. Being a female. No, I swore. And she's oh. like, oh my god, you swore. <laughs> no, this is a safe place, because the thing is, I... It's a safe place. <laughs> it's a safe place. <laughs> Guys, if you are ever feeling anything... Okay, this is so a safe the thing place. is, I had to move all the episodes from the vlog channel and move it to a new Volcors Exposed channel on YouTube, because all the videos, whether it's a podcast, a vlog, was all merged into one channel. I'm like, this is going to be confusing to people. Because you're gonna watch the vlog, which is family friendly, and I, I bleep oh out, yeah yeah yeah, I bleep out stuff and stuff like that, and then next thing you know it cuts to Volcor's exposed, and we're just going ham, we're just like cussing and stuff. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. So I've been working on moving all the footage to the new channel. Thank God for Google Photos, but uh, yeah, now everything's on the actual Volcor's exposed. <laughs> Thank God for Google Photos. Yeah. Yet you use the iPhone. You hear that? Well, I mean, iPhone's a lot. You Vocal that. cords exposed. <laughs> well, <laughs> iPhone still uploads everything to Google Photos. Because I, I download, because you can still have an iPhone uh, and download uh, Google Photos, and it'll still upload to Google Photos from iPhone. Mm. I know. Uh, so here's the thing. I, lo I still am an Android user. I love Android. I still have my old Android. Uh, but if, after using iPhone for a while, when you have AirDrop, and you're just able yeah, to airdrop shit to people dope, that fast. I, I know people are like, well, Android, Android technically has their own version of it. But I don't think anyone's going to so say snappy that. That's so snappy with airdrop. You could be sitting on a plane and just airdrop somebody some random ass stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's true. It's so hilarious. Yeah, it gets annoying too. You get the, when you get a troll though that does it, it's just... Some, someone did that at um the restaurant, like a customer... So I think there was like drop your number, and then the girl at work was like, "Look," <laughs> and or it was it was someone. So then they sent a picture yeah. of him on his phone, on his phone. <laughs> and then dropped it. <laughs> Bro is being spied on, and he's oh, looking around. Man. He's like, "We're looking. Like, who's doing that?" I'll never forget, man. I'll never forget when Nick and I were going to British Columbia for vacation. This is back in 2014, and Nick, um, for I don't know anyone who's in this game for tablets and mobile devices and stuff. It's called Infinite Flight. It might be on PC now, but uh, by this point, yeah. <laughs> is that but your flying is, simulator? This is yeah. a flight simulator. This is in the earlier early days when it was just on iPads and stuff. Anyway, we're going out west. We are on uh, an Air Canada flight. I think it was a Boeing 767. Um, and since with Infinite Flight, you can pick any flight you want, sure enough, Nick picks Air Canada Flight Boeing 767, and this guy freaking... Do you fly the plane? So yeah. Nick, he's sitting, so unfortunately, for going there, Nick didn't sit directly to me out of window seat, but Nick was in the middle aisle, but still <laughs> to the right, if yeah, that makes yeah. sense. And this woman is sitting to Nick's left. And I could just see her looking at Nick's tablet, <laughs> looking at the plane, because he could get external shots of the plane. She didn't and understand. Sure enough, that Nick's was like, oh, game. I see what's going on, because you could probably see it from the corner of your eye. Yeah. And 
you're just like, <laughs> like from my point of view, what it looked like you were doing, and I, I don't, this is probably what you're doing, what it looked like was you waited, you were taxiing the runway as we're taxiing. Yeah, yeah. You literally just waited. You could hear the engine spool up on the actual plane. You're just like, you push the slider, spooling up the engines on the plane. The lady's like looking like, <laughs> like all sketched. Like, like, how is he doing this? Wait, and wait. Sure enough, like, you know, we start going, we start going. You're pushing that throttle. And you're like, we start rotating, like rotate. And then the like, next thing you just pull back. <laughs> <laughs> just this guy is evil. This guy is evil. <laughs> and then, you know, Imagine. after an hour went by, like, t- shut it off, put it beside you. We're just chilling, we had a nap or something, sure enough. I imagine she's like, he's not driving right. the plane. Right? Because it has autopilot in the game. Yeah, yeah. He puts autopilot on, just puts it on, chuck, chucks it to the side. And sure enough, sure enough, when the fastened seatbelt sign comes on, because as we're descending, grabs the iPad, puts his trim, his flaps down, the landing gear down. Next <laughs> like scene, just coming up to the runway, and I sweet timed it so like, well. Just kisses the this? runway as we, as we touch down, and he just slowly shuts the engines off. And just like this guy, <laughs> this guy, man. Yeah, I was pretty evil back then. What evil. a way to fly! No, that's funny, man. Games are just getting out of hand, man. I like G- GTA, GTA Six. I know. GTA was, Six. I felt so low because my back was. I could probably pull it out now. What? Oh, the the. Cushion. And then your whole back just goes disproportionate. You put a cushion under the cushions. Yeah. It's okay. What it do you guys think of the new GTA Six? Uh, what it know? Trailer's nice though. The trailer's pretty nice. Not coming out till twenty twenty five. Was that a leak? I heard it was a leak. Somebody leaked the trailer. Something was supposed to be out. Oh uh, really? Yeah. That was a while well, before the trailer came out. Oh. Oh. There's been so, so many leaks yeah, about GTA Six. Oh, well, sure. so they, they just leaked stuff. I thought yeah, it leaked. No, it was like I, a trailer. I, like the trailer. I think he had. I'm pretty sure he has autism. And the, apparently, the leaker. He, no, he's in a mental uh, hospital because of it. Kind of like, kind of like jail. I'm like. Uh, yeah, like mentally ill, but like I don't know. I don't a know what it's called. They can't jail someone who's mentally ill. So yeah. a mental institution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not jailed, but you gotta stay there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, uh, it's not funny, but they apparently he released a statement saying he intended to do it again. <laughs> no, did I'll he, do it again. Did he die? Wait, what? I'm pretty. I'm not. If I, I don't know if I'm. Wait, he died? How? Maybe I just remember something else. Damn. No, GTA 6 looks pretty wild, though. It looks way too real. Looks like all the stuff that, like, in, every, in pop culture, what's going on. Leech GTA yeah, 6. Yeah, he's twerking. Like, twerking and... It's just, like, n- now's yeah, yeah. generation. Like, what is happening in the now? What's what's now, exactly. I saw this video. Everything that's what's now is in there. I remember who, who it was. Oh, literally, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, in this video, it was uh, the guy who uh, voiced Michael in GTA Five. Mm-hmm. He was reviewing the GTA Six trailer. Yeah, and he's like, "We've seen it." And what? he's he's literally like, "They oh, have, yeah, oh, they, yeah, have yeah, women. Yeah, yeah. they have big asses." Like, he just, yeah, yeah, he's like, "Nah, it's kind of interesting." Miami, I mean, Miami is girls don't really have big asses out there, but BBLs. Yeah, it's Miami. Yeah, yeah well, BBLs. Yeah. Maybe that's what he was talking about. Like, yeah. maybe he's talking about, like, naturally big, like, big asses. He's like, maybe, like, oh, normally it's my name, they don't have, like, yeah. naturally big asses. No, I think, I don't know, I think it feels like he was talking about just a trailer a lot, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The trailer looks pretty cool, like, I like the fact that there's, I mean, there's, there's a bit of everything in there. There's, like, a bit of, like, strong chaos, like, rednecks and stuff, doing, being rednecks. Like, there's gators in there now, it's kind of cool. Mm. Yep, yeah. imagine... You're in the water and you get chomped on by a gator. Dude. That's, that's crazy, man. That'll be what? You're just like, you get it. Like, well, yo, no, the fact the fact that there's going to be kids. There's going to be kids in there? Yeah. Wait, what? I heard rumors you're going to be kids in NPCs? There. Yeah. That, so that show's still on, like, rated R, right? Face? Yeah. That's what I heard. It's Oof. rumors. I don't know. I don't know about how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel about that one either. I don't know if I can even that I That's not even rated R at this point. That's like, okay, come on. What what sometimes is that? when you see a kid in public and they're really pissed we'll off. Yeah, we'll sometimes you think you, intrusive What's thoughts. You think of things like the purge. Sorry, you, you know, like I don't know. I seen this video. Uh, I think the I think the cast from the boys and there's a scene where he pushes the kid off the roof because there's a he thought he had superpowers just like his dad. So his dad like pushed him off the roof. Turned out the kid just fell off the roof onto the ground. He's okay. I'm not sure. I think he broke something. 
But they're out of like a kind of like a what, what do you call it? like a, a meet and greet kind of thing. Yeah. And they asked about that scene. Jesus. <laughs> oh, sorry. I touched my my headphones. I'm sorry. No, no. No, the freaking. <laughs> oh, that. He <laughs> all, all fell off. Oh, well, I could stay there. But uh, they asked about that scene. And they're like, what was. I guess they asked some of them, like, what was your favorite part? Like, oh, definitely pushing the kid off the roof. And he's like, come on. We all thought about it. We, you just always wanted to push a kid off the roof. It was something that a kid does that really, like, pisses you off. Really it's like, you, always, you can't do it because they're a kid. Yeah. I think that is what's going to happen in GTA 6. A lot of people to tail their anger on kids. I don't I mean, Do you think it's only they can only, like, push kids? What so if you can't touch? Maybe, maybe yeah, they yeah, yeah. make it where they can't touch well, the you kids. Can't, I was about to say, what if they rendered them? What if they rendered the, the NPCs in where they're there? And, like, what if you're, like, driving and you just turn on the sidewalk? I'm about to hit a kid. But then it stops you. It, can't. it stops you. Kind of, like, makes your car swerve around them. Yeah, yeah. Or anyone walking with the kid. Like, or if it jumps back to the um, Vice City. Remember, you couldn't run over people in Vice City? Really? I That's think a so. lie. I ran over people in Vice, Vice City. Vice City? What, which, I swear to God, there's one where you couldn't... Oh, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of another game. It's another oh, game. Uh, Midnight... Uh, Night Midnight Club. Yeah, Midnight Club. Midnight because Club, you yeah. couldn't run them over, That's so they were just like, that was dodge cool you game. or jump oh, out of the way really fast. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, that would <laughs> yeah. happen with kids. That like game was GTA fire. 6. I love that game. Midnight Club, man. I if y'all don't know Midnight Club, playing Midnight Club on a PSP, which, by the way, a PSP, I still think is ahead of its time. Did you see the new yeah. thing? No, oh, yeah. Was it, uh, what do you call but it? But it's... Pretty much what a PSP. Yeah, what what it was, it was like something for PlayStation. It, it, it like oh, all this, what your phone goes into. Yeah. Yeah. Backbone. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think Joseph bought one. Or he's because it, it could be for Xbox or PlayStation. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll play enough video games anyway. <laughs> Maybe back in your day. Back in my day, you know, I was playing all the games. I was playing 007. Okay. GTA San Andreas is playing uh, Halo. Uh, what's another game? Uh, Ghost Recon. Fast. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Need for Speed. <laughs> fast. 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 Whoa. 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 Whoa there. Need for Speed. I think for PSP. PSP. Yeah, that's that's little. Little. I don't know. My, my opinion. But it's no need for Speed. Ratchet and, Ratchet and Clank. Clank. Yo, I Remember love that game. I played so... Tiana's just nodding her head because she she know damn well she would play one thing was goddamn Sims. Actually, yeah. um, some Crash, some yeah, Crash yeah, Bandicoot classic. Be real, um, some Tony Hawk. That was my ish. Oh, Tony, Tony Hawk. Hawk. Which Please. one? Most Skater. Um, the one where has a uh, Boston and Barcelona. Uh, okay. I don't know what it's called. We're not games. Is that it? We just played games where you. Oh. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. But yeah, Sims. Do you know any Sims, Sims language? Um, yeah. Oh, I was really hoping it wasn't. No. Don't worry, I, I won't, I won't, I won't be embarrassing for Sims. No, no, I think it'd be, I think honestly, if you can learn Sims language, it's actually pretty impressive. Because this doesn't, A, it doesn't exist. And B, I feel like it'd be hard to learn. Someone was asking me about my Sims. Oh, my friend. Mm. I was playing it yesterday. And she's like, what are they? And she's like, who's speaking? I was like, it's my Sims. <laughs> it's remember, Simlish. I just remember the later years, like right before my brother and I moved away, that's what you were doing is playing Sims. Before that. Oh, no, like, I was doing that before, oh, way before really? that. Oh. I just remember. I ha oh, we don't have the collection, but Sims, like, just the Sims used to sit up here. Yeah. I still sure. have it. I remember, I remember I'd come over and you would want to play house. want to play house. I'm like, no. <laughs> just, Imagination. Yeah. And it's funny. Like I don't like the I don't like to do that. I mean Nick would. But You guys came over, you were forced to play whatever I wanted to yeah. play. <laughs> it was upsetting until I until I Because <laughs> when I went to your house I was like, Ugh, I don't wanna play anything. You guys smell like stinky cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you guys were like just gross it's cause, kids. It's because yeah, we're, we're always, always outside. outside. Yeah, and you just, guys, you just always smell. And the and our mom would say the famous saying when we get back, Go babe, you smell like outside. <laughs> it's true though, like, ugh, you know when someone yeah, from smell. outside comes inside, you're like, ugh, they smell like outside. I never understood outside. what she meant until Noah. Ugh. Like, when I had my son. Yeah. Just like, you smell like, like oh, you came you from smell, outside. bro. Like, yeah. yeah. Just sweat air. 
No, Tiana just still cheesed Third. when that one time I she asked me if I want to go swimming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is how I knew? I didn't like you. You were my least favorite friend. <laughs> like, how do you bail? It's swimming. I don't want to. I don't want to go on that. I do. Here's the thing. I, I was. I was already. I was already aware as a kid. I knew how gross that pool was. I know how gross that pool was. There's so kid, it's about swimming. There's a kid. And how do you think the air? A I mean, turd in there at least. And how do you think lakes are? You don't know when people are just peeing I mean, away. It's true, but I, don't I know. Go but swimming like, in lakes. You don't. No. Do you? Oh, you don't swim. I. I'm a good swimmer. But don't you don't swim. like to swim. Is it because it makes you too cold? That and it's just the process. Like I don't like beaches. Is it the process of being wet and then going in the sand? Going in the sand and drying off. Drying off and feeling sand dirty. Everywhere. There's sand. In but don't you love that, that sun-kissed feeling? I like laying on the beach, and I like. But the that's process. not this. You don't get the sun-kissed feeling, and if you don't go in the water, you don't get it. I don't know. Your hair comes all. Out. It's all just nice from the yeah. water. I wanna. I wanna work out more so I get that like. I'm in the water. Makes you tan. Like, it's like, where's Nathan? Being in the water. the water. Like, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> and I'm just like, now I'm covered in sand. Yeah. It's like, I, I'm, uh, I'm ripped and I'm covered in sand. But, no, I don't like okay, beaches. Hey, Baywatch. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't like beaches. I mean, oh, here's the thing. I, I like I beaches. Never, I don't never, like sitting on them. And I, I think, think it's it, because our beaches, they're lakes. They're not actually. They're like, so yeah, they're not like. They're beaches, yeah. but they're not. They're, we we they don't, don't live on the aesthetic. coast. So, they're not. That's it's true. not an ocean. Every beach I've been on was a great lake. Well, no, no, Trinidad. I've been to Trinidad on a beach, but all my life is just the Great Lakes and being on the beach there. And another reason why I don't swim in lakes. Um, so, I actually have a fear of not Something water. Eating? We're not drowning. Oh. The emptiness. The emptiness. So I, I I don't have a fear of water. I have a fear of not being able to see. No, I know what you yeah, mean. The bottom. Because I remember I was we were tubing. My brother and I were tubing in the St. Lawrence River, which is a gross river. Um, and I didn't realize I had this fear until... Because the whole point with tubing is we're supposed to knock you off the tube, and that's what happened. I got knocked off, and I'm just sitting there treading water. I thought it was just to just, you know, tube. Oh, no. Don't knock me off. If they're not trying to knock you off, then like, you might as well not even go tubing. <laughs> Ew, no. Oh Let me just sit in the tube. Anyway. Just chill. We hit a wake from a ship that passed by, and it was high, so it launched me in the air. I slammed down the water. I'm like, oh, that was fun. I'm sitting there treading water. And then the paranoia hit. I'm like, this river's 100 feet deep. I can't see the bottom. I start freaking out. I'm like, get me out of this. Get me out of oh Like, geez, chill out, dude. Like, I cannot stand anything where I can't see the bottom. I can't stand anything where I can't see it, like, just there, like I'll solid. S- yeah, I'll swim in a hundred foot lake if I can see the bottom. If that makes sense, <laughs> even though that's not really possible because of just to come in terms of light and stuff like that. But yeah, no, it's uh, no, I I freak it. Where where did Nick go? I don't know what he said. I couldn't hear him. Nick is the type of person I was like, I'll be right back. I forgot something. And I think he, that's exactly what he said. Yeah, and then he's he'll do a hundred tasks and he doesn't come back for like a solid like thirty minutes. You're like, where the fuck did you even go? You know, one time I went canoeing, but it wasn't like it wasn't deep, but it was down a river. But it was the worst time to go canoeing because it stormed, mm. and we were in the river just canoeing. This was at camp. So oh, there was man. like no, you had yeah, to just yeah. make it to your destination. Yeah. Oh, you were like portaging, like you'd. Like, you'd get in a canoe, get to land, and then portage, and then get to your... Oh, well, they did that. Like, if, oh, you, if like you were a certain group yeah. throughout that camp, that oh. one, like, two cabins were gone, and that's what they would do. Oh, you had cabins. Oh, oh. No, but, yeah, this was at a camp, like, yeah. for the kids. Kids yeah, go yeah. overnight. Oh, okay. But, um, you'd, like, there'd be two cabins that would go, yeah. like, on a canoe trip. Yeah. Camp, and then they would come back. I don't know when they would come back, but they would come back. Um, but I want, like, you get to choose what you want to do as your last thing to do for camp. Yeah. So I couldn't go tubing because this was after I got bit by the dog. This was just oh, freshly after dang. I came back with yeah, you guys yeah. from Brockville. Oh. And then I, two days later, I went to camp. It's not even funny. So the bite, I got bit by a, a dog. Uh, we'll get to that story. But I got bit by a dog. Um, and then two days later, I went to camp. 
and the bite was infected, so I wasn't allowed to go swimming, I couldn't go tubing, I couldn't do anything with lake water. So I chose canoeing, because I was like, okay, I'm in the canoe, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a possibility I'm going to get tipped. So, turns out it started to storm, Damn. the canoe was getting filled with water, it was just a bad experience, really and then hard, another yeah. set of people were in the canoes, Um, they got stuck in between a dead deer that was like stuck in the branches, like a full dead deer, like not like decompose like a full deer just stuck in the tree because all we heard was a scream and then one of the people their canoe tipped over it was it was crazy imagine kids with like your your counselors it was like in their 20s (laughs) damn wow man no you gave you gave a bit by that dog it's not funny it's just bro i don't know i find something funny about it yeah, because you were, you backed out of the way. Bro, okay, let me tell you guys how it went down. So we were playing tag. And Nick, where are you? Do you want to bring me a drink? Yeah. Just, like, put it a little bit in in a mug. What kind of drink? Yeah. My sangria. Oh, where is it? In oh. the fridge. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't fill it up, though. Just a little bit. Yeah, that, uh, that day was, if I forget how old we were, probably, I want to say nine or ten. Yeah, that sounds about right. Something like that. Yeah, just a little bit, though. Because it was, it was definitely before my brother and I moved up. Because this is at this point where we're just visiting that, that area. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a whole solid year before you guys. Yeah, yeah. Moved, I believe. Turns out everyone freaked out when we left. I didn't. Oh no, I don't think it. No, was it? I think that was that was it. That was when you did, like no or am I no, crazy? No, no, no. We're definitely visiting. This is. I think we. Your visited, mom was looking into it though. I think we visited twice before. Honestly, I was confused as a kid as why. <laughs> I mean, it's like oh. T- oh, I used to listen to everything. Oh, it's like oh, Tiana's coming. But well, because um, I don't know why I came this time. I think I don't know. That's why I was confused. I'm like, okay, well. I don't know why my I went up with maybe you. Maybe your mama got sick of you. you Probably. Know. Summertime, something okay. for me to do, I guess. Take her with you? Yeah, I still don't know why I came. No one asked your mom and my mom, why did I go? It just didn't make any sense, the whole trip. Because I was like, A, See? My only, least favorite friend. There was, there was only two beds in our room. and Oh, my God. And I, you know, I'm going to take my own bed. I, I ain't sharing nothing. So I took the... You're supposed to. I'm the guest. <laughs> I am the guest. I was stingy. I was like, no, I'm on my own bed. So I took the bed. And then, oh my God, you, your mom, and your brother fighting. And then Tiana <laughs> took one bed. And yeah, it was my bed. <laughs> and then Nick's like, well, I guess I'm just going to sleep on this chair thing. <laughs> <laughs> he slept on this chair. Thing. He <laughs> slept on the chair, which was yeah. at the end of the bed. Yeah. And he, he put his feet at the end of the bed. The but he felt so bad that his feet were on the bed, he took them off of the bed. I'm like, oh my god, and curled up, I think, in a ball on the chair. Well, because I think you offered... Like, what a gentleman, huh? Well, you offered, he's like, well, if you want to... It's like, well, if you if you want, you can, you can still lay in the bed. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> no. But, uh... Yeah, oh. It was pretty funny. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, no, you got bit by the dog. How did... I, can't, I like, honestly, I can't remember anything. Do you remember how I got bit by the dog? No, I don't remember much. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so it was just before we were getting ready to leave and going back to the hotel. And we were playing... Tag, do you need it? Oh, I guess I <laughs> At the moment? <laughs> um, We were playing Tag. And I believe... I believe you were it. And then... Um, Probably. and then you take me, so then I was running after you, we're running around the car, mm-hmm. and then you, I swear to God, you seen the dog, because you stepped out of the way, and when I went to go and tap you, the dog came and bit me in the ass, mm-hmm. and I was like, get the dog off of me, yeah. like, I was freaking out, yeah. like, I was like, Damn. get it off, get it off, I'm like, get it off, and they're like, don't move, because I was pulling, and they're like, don't pull, yeah. So yeah. then afterwards, um, I was trying to get it cleaned, and then you guys, I think you both, you guys came, you like, Mom, are we leaving? And I was like, get out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we I was home. so mad. Oh, yeah, you definitely 
definitely should have gotten stitches that day, but no, because I was like, I don't want stitches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Come on. Also, too, I mean, I was petrified. I've never been so. Just took you to get stitches. Yeah, she, she should have. Every kid's gonna say they don't want stitches. Yeah. My mom, uh, yeah. my mom was. I mean, but there's a lot of situations as a kid where I could have got stitches, and I just what didn't. mother would have though? Like I got to do. There's the amount of cuts and wounds I got there. I, I should have. I required stitches, and I just didn't. Cause, man, after you get stitches, man. When I was four years old, I got stitches on my ankle. When they shove a needle. So they don't do that anymore. They don't do that. Yeah. No, so you I just get not. numbing gel, and then they put like a little, saran wrap little foil like over yeah where you can still see it with the clear bandage and then they wait like 30 minutes until like it's numb they'll then they'll touch it and ask you can you feel that like does it hurt yeah no and then you know you sew it up well, so you don't get you don't get that kid. syringe right in you that was just dirty dude that's why i never wanted stitches yeah. but now that i have yeah. them Nick got stitches in his finger. I think that's the only place he's got stitches. Yeah, it's funny because mom didn't believe that I cut oh, myself because we would always play pranks on her, like make fake cuts on her mm -hmm. hands and stuff. Slice my Boys. finger open with a knife. Like, mom, I have a cut and you go to the hospital. Like, ah, go go away, go away. She hates blood. Like, no, really, it's real. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, very funny. And I had to literally have to go over and open the wound to show her. She almost fainted. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It was just like right around here I mean, I, I've seen someone scarlet. like cut their finger off uh, I don't think I can endure that uh, a few yeah. people I know at, at my old job someone was missing a finger you know chef and now my new job Brian he's missing a finger <laughs> it's just chef things sometimes sometimes they just do the wrong thing and like but how do you how, you must be going to it depending on okay depending on the circumstances a lot of the time like everyone I know who lost a finger while in the chef world it's never like sometimes a clean cut it's mostly like it got caught in something. Oh, like yeah. if you're like a meat grinder. Oh god. So you can't save the finger after. Yeah. Now if it's like a clean cut, you could like yeah. Because in my case, a person I've seen, they're able to save it. They yeah. Just put it back on. Yeah, because it was a clean cut. It was a clean cut. Yeah. Dang, dude. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Gotta be grateful. I honestly knock on wood. Because I heard that's a twice, curse. Apparently, I've done some crazy stuff, and the fact that I still have all my fingers blows my mind. I twisted my nail today, oh. or this morning. Jeez, that's a crazy injury. <laughs> you yep. are so scared of like cutting crazy. myself. <laughs> Shut up. That's a great. I twisted my I nail twisted in my day. finger. To be clear, I had a fake nail on. Oh. oh. Pull that other nail right off. Yeah, no, it. That's why I have a bandaid on, cause it lifted. I'm so I don't want it to peel. That's gonna my, hurt. My fingers open. Anywhere else, I'm not afraid of, but my fingers, because ever since I was cleaning a blade of like, uh, it's like one of those like Robocoop things, and like it could, it has multiple different blades that you could choose from. I was cleaning the blade, and the rag wasn't against my finger, and I slipped across the blade, and I I split open one of my fingers at the end. I had to like flap the skin back and like and I, it was bleeding so because the blood was squirting out of it oh. and to keep the blood from squirting out I had to walk around like this to keep the blood like oh, in my hand because oh if, you if you keep your hand down it's gonna this, yeah but like that's dirty so ever since then every time I'm, if I have to even cut something I work rapidly fast I put on a normal working glove like you know those work gloves that with the, the rubber on this side oh yeah 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 I put on those and then a latex glove over it so, like, when I'm cutting, I'm, I'm so, that's how afraid I am now, cutting myself. I so don't I'm like, okay, it. well, at least I hit myself. I'm, I'm wearing two gloves. So it's not, I might go through, but it's not going to do serious damage. Because if I know I have to rush and, like, cut really fast, like, I'm not risking it. Mm. Just how sometimes I'll, because sometimes my hand shakes. Like, my, I can't grip certain things. So my hand, my, I have, like, noodle fingers. So, like, it's, I'm like, oh, I'm risking it. So, I'm like, I don't know. How do you have noodle fingers with the stiffest hands? I don't know. I'm oh my god, holding fingers. hands with him, it's like his fingers jaw lock my my hand, and I'm Damn, like, it hurts. Long, yeah, she tries to open my fingers, like, like I yeah, like because like she can't, even my pinky. What do you mean? Like try to open that. Oh no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about yeah, like when I we hold hands, like instantly, like his fingers start crushing mine, and it's not yeah, like he's choosing it too. They just it just it just they just go in. I think it's big knuckles. Are yeah, they just close in, and I'm like, I'm like. Open your hand. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's like 
It's like that freaking alien from the movie Alien. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the alien that, from the movie that the Alien. Thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing that comes that's out. That's before yeah. they had, like, CGI. They had to, like, get creative. That's when movies were good. Man, yeah. that's when scary movies scared me. Yeah, because like, like, any type of thriller. Creative, you know? We, we knew damn well it was a hand in there. Yeah. The alien coming out of the guy's chest. We knew it was a hand. We, yo, yeah. we, knew, we knew that was a hand. Yeah, but, it's like, pra- but it was practical effects. It's practical still effects. Great. Like, yo, that's, that's freaky. We, What's the freakiest thing that happened to you in real life? Like, yo, that's a like, hand. What? What was, what was something you could not explain that happened? Mm, something I scary. Myself. Not kidding, I didn't. Haunting or someone possessed. Anything, anything crazy like that? I wouldn't hope not to see a possessed person. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I mean, um, no, like, you know, it's so that you can't explain. You know what I mean? So that, like, crazy. You know? I can't think of it's, one It's right pretty now. crazy. The one maybe. time an old Indian guy followed me home for my first day of grade five. Damn, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh and I had, like, I had this is when, you know, yeah. playing in the park played off. Because... <laughs> I sprinted and then I ran down to the creek and hopped the creek and then hopped the fence so he couldn't find me. That's freaky. That's creepy. Well, it you is. Knew to, you knew to run not to trust him. I'll tell you something that's Don't crazy. Don't talk to strangers. Uh, I always, uh, this is when I worked for the other delivering service. Uh, I, um, so I'd go to, to this house. I had the same route every single day, same people. And this is peak COVID, so everyone's ordering stuff all the time. I go to this house and every time I go to this one house, I just got this off feeling. And I, the feeling where it's like, I just want to just drop the package and just leave all the time. Like, immediately. You know what I mean? I shouldn't be there. The feeling of it, I should not be there. Until one day, the dude was in his garage. And he's like, hey, man, how's it going? I'm like, oh, jeez. I'm like, we're good. He's like, hey, whatever time you want to hang out or anything, you want to chill, well, you just chill. I'm like. That's weird. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> okay. Have a good day. Maybe he's like genuinely just wanted to show that. Finally, I it's kind of I go to this house the next day. No, not the next day. I think it was like two days later to drop off a package. He's there, and, then, and of course, one thing like led to another conversation and stuff like that. He's like, it's like, uh, you know, I might be too old or too young to remember this, but uh, over in Toronto, there was this, uh, you know, this Asian guy who had a daughter, but the daughter was sick and he couldn't afford to. Uh, for medical bills or stuff like that. I think he was, he's just saying that he was like a, a immigrant. And he's like, yeah, I remember the story where like he cut up his little, the little girl's body and placed her body parts all over Toronto and stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I remember like our mom would like, to, like tell us and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, you don't want to know what happened to the dad. I'm like, oh, no. I was like, so I was in prison. I got out in 2009. I'm like, Okay, he's like, yeah, so what we did was we just put his hands in uh, boiling oil. Yeah. Oh, was it boiling oil Ew. or did he chop his hands off? He did one of the two. He either chopped his hands off or put it in boiling oil. I'm pretty sure he chopped his hands Being off. Being boiled that'll be, alive. That would be more of a, a death sentence. But I think he well, chopped his hands off. That's a different type of boiling. Off. And he's like, yeah, and then uh, yeah, I went to prison and then he stuck me out here once I got out. And uh, he proceeded to say, but yeah, you know, if you ever want to hang out, you know. I was like, cool, dude. Cool. Later days. Yeah. Gotta I, go back to the fact that he, like, he told you that, like, right then and there. Like, it's not like, even if you say you did start to hang out with him, but when he did tell you that, you'd think he would tell you after you hung out with him. Yeah, for like, at least, at least, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, that's kind of weird that he just told you that, like, up front. Yeah, no, it was crazy. So maybe he just doesn't talk to people much and he had to get off his chest. Yeah, so I've got to get this off my chest, man. Every chance he got. Yeah. That's crazy. Revenge can put you in jail. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Weren't you, and I think Tiana, weren't you talking about, this is a long time ago. I don't know if you're talking about like whether you're someone like your friend or something. Where they, where they seemed like, what was this? Well, maybe I don't even can't remember. It was you that was telling me this? It was like, oh, like it's when you and Shanice. Oh no no no! We don't talk about that. Not on. Not oh. on the... <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so long ago. I, I couldn't tell if it was Tiana that told me this or is like somebody else. Uh. Oh, is it is it too is it too real? 
Uh, is it? We're... Bro, what, are we, what are we talking about? <laughs> <You're> so <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I just remember, I guess it was like a, it sounded like a paranormal. Like... N- nope. It's real. We're not talking about it. Oh, damn. Okay, never mind. Because which one? There was like two. Well, which one can you talk yeah. about? Um, well, neither. You don't have to mention names. Still. Okay, fine. Paranormal <laughs> stuff, like ghosts? More like possession. Oh, you know what? I have. Mm-hmm. When I feel, when I, th- I just feel someone's possessed. Oh. How do you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, it's just off body <laughs> language. You just, the person's off. And they always feel like cold, but like, yeah. like not like, oh, you're cold, like you're chilly. No, it's like ice cold to the oh. bone, like. Like you know, they're, like they're like you can feel that they're cold. Like you know, you can feel that it's like a chill that goes through your body. Like they're like ice cold, like a person, like not like a to p- touch. Yeah, like not a person who's regular. Like say if you're cold and yeah. you're cold, like oh your hands are so cold. Like you know, you're like you feel like you're freezing. No, no, not that type. It's like you touch their shoulder and you instantly feel how just soulless and cold they are. Like yeah, there's just that's, yeah. It's just. I guess this camera stopped recording at some point, but at least then we still have footage from this one. But, uh, yeah, no. Uh, is that one still recording? This one is, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not sure when that one stopped. I don't know. It's because it has a cap on the recording. I'm not sure why. But Did it hit its mark? Who has the timer? Oh, maybe it... Uh, well, so no. It's, uh, exposed. <laughs> yeah, it's not up yet. It's just sometimes... I don't know what it is with iPhones. Sometimes it can stay on the phone. Sometimes it doesn't, but... Uh, yeah. Ask me the phone. Oh, what does it say? So is this... One hour and 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, oh. we're past that. But you can finish up. So when you come here and to do podcast, is that the, the caption name? Don't read it off. It's my street name. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Um, because it uses location. Mm. So if I'm at home, it'll say my location. I don't put oh, it there. I thought it's like you had a folder no, of when you're not, here, and I'm like, that's what you call it? It automatically, based on location, will tell you where it was recorded. Because I'm, I'm like, like that's kind of strange. It you're a real professional. <laughs> it is It is weird. Yeah. I think the weed wore off. <laughs> so okay. I feel like, if, I feel like if we were doing... Oh, before so we get started, like, got started, like, if we were doing this, when we, like, just smoked, like, when, like, you mean you, like, smoked last night, when we were, like, just laugh up, that would be more lit. More laid back. I feel like we have to be more. We have to still be professional for whatever reason. Yeah. yeah well, Maybe just me, because like you. It's not, it's not like, about I don't really care. Being, like, it's about being professional, but it's it's not like. No, I'm, dude, I'm thinking too much. Like I can't say. I think, this, are you I thinking of more of it, like an interview? Like, I'm like, oh no, I have a reputation. <laughs> I can't say this. Can't say well, that. The problem is we don't do that. this often enough. So like the thing is, when we do it, we're just like, oh well, we gotta get into our you know recording you know mindset. Yeah, it's like an alter ego. It's an alter ego. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, I, even me, I noticed it. it was it, even with with me, I'm noticing like, oh, like when it, before I used to do this weekly, I got into my, like my normal self. I was just like, okay, I just I just turn the mic, I start talking about random stuff. But now, since I don't do it as often, I find myself, it's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta sound different, you know. Mm. But yeah. Either way, um, we're hitting our time now. Uh, so hopefully I can bring you guys more episodes, uh, on the podcast and I want to start getting back into releasing weekly, uh, content, um, doing the podcast solo, but of course, don't worry, there's still going to be people on the podcast every now and again. Um, and that's pretty much it. Does anyone else have anything else to add? Uh, no, thanks for adding me. Um, yeah, and, uh... I'm pretty tired, so... Yeah. I hope you guys like like drip of, like I hope you guys like drip like like I I got clothes on or anything. I hope yeah. you like my drip. Is that what you said? Like yeah. Well, I like I, mean, I got the shades on. I know it looks cool, but like it helps the, the bright ass lights. To be honest. Yeah, they're pretty bright. But, um. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna finish this nightcap Thank and go to you bed. For me. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Did you, did you turn the echo on? Yeah, He's yeah I did for a second. On. I'm having too much fun with that. I'm sorry. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Of course, you guys can go to my YouTube channel. Just simply called Nathan Kirk. I'll be releasing content on there. Just normal vlogs. 
Uh, and for my Instagram, you guys know where to find me, Prototype Dreamwalker. And then, of course, we're going to start releasing content um, on the Car Tangents account on Instagram as well. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good New Year. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Forget about the New Year's resolution. Just if you're if you want to start yeah, something, do you, baby. Just do you. Just do you. And the thing yeah. is, it's a day. Just pick a day and do yeah, it. It doesn't yeah, matter if it's a New Year. Just freaking do it. Like I feel like people are just finding a reason to like, I'll do it next year. Next year I'm gonna do that thing. Yeah. Just do it. All right. All right, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. Peace. Blah 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 ding dong.